I, I would like to start myself just by asking. Um, Did they make everybody stay down here the whole time? <laughs> we're, we are down in the pit, yes. <laughs> we're not glamorous enough to be upstairs <laughs> with the pretty people. Um, you, are, you have been telling us how the world works for decades. And it feels like in the last couple of years, everyone started to listen all at once. It's been an avalanche. The shows are in production. The books are circulating again. Um, those of us who, I mean, I read Handmaids in high school um, 30 years ago, and I'm, I'm delighted to see that people are, are catching on, finally, globally, that it's become this thing now is with the television show behind it. Um, do you, is there something else that people could be looking towards in your own work? Is there something that's been overlooked that people should be reading now? I can't tell people what they should do. <laughs> is there a suggestion? Of something uh, well, that you know, there's a couple more things in production, mm -hmm. even as we speak, but... Um, I don't know. I forget, which, I forget which ones have been announced. <laughs> right, I was going to say. Um, I know that the, the Oryx and Crake books basically predict way too much the things that have already happened. Yeah, so, so those kinds of books that I write, I don't put anything into them for which there isn't a precedent or a referent in real life, but, mm -hmm. but they are about the future, so they haven't happened yet. Yes. How can we stop them from happening? Well, <laughs> uh, for which, which thing do you, would you like to stop today? Well, I mean, I would like to bring back humanity as a, as a, a big general bring back concept. Humanity. Well, it has gone away. It's, uh, um, a number of countries are under a lot of pressure, but a number of other countries have made a lot of progress. And even in the United States, which people sometimes look at in despair, there's, there's a huge amount of um, activity going on at, at state and local yes. levels. So it's, it's, it's patchy, <laughs> it's patchy, yeah. but um, there's no lack of, of hope. Oh, even south of the border, I just came back from Texas and I had a lot of earfuls of, of <laughs> things. And some of the earfuls were earfuls of isn't this awful and, and other ones were about how people are pushing back and how people are working very hard to change things in a positive direction. So if, if things were as they are in The Handmaid's Tale, I wouldn't have been allowed in Texas. I certainly wouldn't have been allowed to speak. Sure. And the people who were talking to me would have been in jail or hanging from the wall. So we're not, we're not in that society yet. That's the hopeful thing. Well, thanks for still being on the hopeful side. Uh, does anybody, uh, yeah, Victoria? Then. Yes. Okay, so if you look in the Globe and Mail, uh, I think on yesterday, which is Saturday, you'll see a, a piece by Marsha Laderman, which lays that out. So as a kickoff uh, financial supporter, and as um, I'm, I'm doing two events in April, one of them is the Young Women in Law event here, and the other one is the Variety magazine um, Power of Women lunch, and both of those allow you to take the, the proceeds, proceeds from the event and channel them into a charity of your choice. So that is where um, those funds are going. And if you watch the pages of a variety in, in April, you will see that Canadian Women's Foundation and this fund gets two whole pages in it. So in the capacity of kickoff funder and also in the capacity of spread the word. It's what is happening and, and it is a fund to which you can donate. So it has an online donation site. So spreading the word means that more people hear about it and in an ideal world, they will donate to it. No sum too small. Well. So if you look at Time's Up in the States, I think they've raised about $20 million through crowdfunding and also larger donors. Oh, thank, here it is. Okay, here we are. I know. Thank you.